Flying drones or UAV is not a hobby, it's an art of different form. For me, it's a skill of putting the parts together, tuning it, and decide what can I get out of it. Like, what sort of shots can I show or reveal? Flying drones is not only the skill of piloting it, but also is a art of composition, art of dynamic shot composition for all of us who are flyers, content creators, uh, videographers, aerial directors. But something has changed to this absurd hobby. How about I tell you this, that, that building drones and flying quadcopters is not the same as making weapons or firearms. It is also not the same as orders of war. I mean, since uh, creation of firearms, weapons and even a single plane, single touch of a pen, all of these have taken more lives than a single sporadic quadcopter event. Yes, my dear friends. But, while 737 Maxes keep on falling from the skies, and you guys pretty much remember this shot of an Ethiopian airline crashing and taking away lives, which was approved by FAA, which was investigated by FAA, and this plane was certified by FAA. It brings me to this point of, uh, you know, thought that what about us? What about all these lives that are lost? What about these people that lost their lives? And not only once, they were two planes that actually had crashed, killing more than 1,000 people. So you think this is not important, but make a law for people, those who are flying drones. Flying drones is, uh, you know, that secret desire of a human being to take to the skies. It's a secret desire of or a wish that you could fly high. That's what it gives you. It gives you that extra ability wearing your goggles that as if you're flying high in the sky. It's the freedom behind it. And that is the reason I'm more outrageous because this is what's going to happen. So FA says that remote ID is required and this remote ID will be shared with everybody. Now imagine a pilot who is new to the area walking around and decides to take a shot. For example, shot like this, trying to go through the winds on top of a Los Angeles river, banking right, you know, like it's, a, it's another feeling. It's like a feeling that you will understand once you try, start flying drones. And somebody else who is in the neighborhood sees that uh, somebody who is not of the same race is flying around and he calls up the cops or the sheriffs are saying that, hey, somebody's trying to violate, you know, my peace or violate some community guidelines or anything. And hence, a huge, huge miscommunication will happen. And that can lead to a lot of stuff that is not at all appreciated by society. Yep. Think about that.